No, it's not the same bunch of zombies I left with last time. This is Jason Silver, I am playing more Drake Empire, and it is bloody awful. And I'm even more annoyed with the um, RPG video because they managed to screw up even more. I was looking at their Kickstarter and they said they've got a blog, which if you donated five pounds or more, you would have, um, you know, been listed on their blog as a uh, donator. That's very nice, as a, as a basic reward goes. Thing is, their blog webpage, a year on, already doesn't exist. It's gone. 404 error. Now for me, that's even more of a kick in the teeth. For any poor schmuck that decided to back this piece of garbage. Or maybe it's a blessing in disguise, you don't have the shame and embarrassment. Okay, so I can go down there. Oh, screw it then, we'll, we'll go down the road. Wait, that went up the road. That's a... That's... Oh, that's not a road bit, that's a... Staircase! Yeah. Yet more powerful enemies appear. Oh, this is bad. This is this is just bad. I feel immensely on the level for this area. There's just been like not so much a um, difficulty curve, but more of an absolute uh, mountain. As uh, well, to put it bluntly. Um, they went, oh look, we'll give Drake ten levels. And then proceed to just ramp up the enemies. Oh, I don't know, I'm just gonna keep... Wow. Just kill it! Oh, about time. I can definitely see why this the end game. Uh, sorry. The last boss of this game is supposed to be ins insanely hard because the devs obviously have like no concept of uh, difficulty curve or just can't do it efficiently. Because if this is what the normal enemies have turned into, then it's going to be an absolute nightmare later. I'm so sick of these fights! And these status effect moves that just don't work or do anything. Oh. At least my early observation where uh, the later enemies weren't giving me any. Uh, money, or giving me less money than the earlier enemies, has now uh, changed. Because I'm getting huge amounts of money. I don't have any opportunity to spend it. Oh, look, that looks important. No. Oh, that didn't do much damage. Kill it! There we go, God. Breath weapon is learned. Okay. Okay. What am I supposed to do here?
What? 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 It, what? There's like logic jump all over the place. I swear Drake's just been a complete little psycho from the start. It's like, of course I'm going to be concerned about her. We left her in a pregnant in a downtown, and he, you were concerned enough that you asked your friend Drake to stay behind and look after her. No, that's because the writers don't know how to write drama. What? What? Well, I'm screwed because, um... Well, I haven't done all the side quests. Also, I'm playing as the weaker of my characters and I'm also injured. Also, why is Drake suddenly a demon? Does it make more sense if I'm actually fighting Drake? Oh my god. Oh, I can't use items as this character either. So all those healing items I have are utterly useless. See if a sleep breath will work. Yes! Excellent! Excellent! This this is just Because I know as soon as he Yeah, his attacks return to normal. Now, Drake is supposed to have three stages. I oh, know. I didn't think I'd be soloing those stages. What? Wait, did I just murder Drake? And just, or just beat him up and leave him there? Yeah, and before I head back, I am gonna go to a plumbing inn and rest. But, oh my god, as, as plot twists go, that was so badly written. It's like, I think... It's, like, it's not even like Drake was particularly... acting like he was particularly fond of her. Of Natalie. He's just like... <sighs> That's the weird thing. He, he came across as like, initially saying, Oh, I'll protect you and everything. But in fact, he didn't, he didn't really like her. Okay. I'm sure that's a attack or defense or drop us a block. Arab genie. No, it's like, oh look, there's all these things which it could be. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna we're gonna do that, and we're gonna equip it. buy another two of those because I know we'll get another character eventually anyway. Oh, I honestly thought I was going to lose that fight and it did come very, very close. So yeah, um, I am really glad I pumped all those uh, extras into Ronark. And if you're playing this game, I, uh, you know what, I might end up Whoa, what's with the epic music now? You know what? I probably won't have to go right back there, so we're just gonna go around, go here.
President? Airship? Oh yeah, Traveler Man. He's the sort of bonus character you get and he actually is supposed to try and help you. But it's like really, he doesn't even that is so half assed shoved in there. I don't I know they were gonna have like a random traveller because everyone called him the traveller. But I just thought it was a case of people couldn't remember the name. So I'm guessing uh, when I was told I'll get someone called Soldier. Drake was a soldier class, by the way. But I'll probably get a random soldier shoved in the party. Doing. I'm actually going back to town to get this guy some decent equipment and then um, probably cry as he dies in one hit by Drake because look at that health. That's like 700. There's not a chance in hell he's going to be any use. Also, that is sort of like a case of, oh, we found this orb and he's turned my friend into a horrible, horrible person. Nah, Drake was pretty much a horrible, horrible person to begin with. He just wanted fortune and fame and didn't really give a crap about anyone else. I wouldn't be surprised if the whole thing over Natalie is more of a case of because he considers her his. I'm really hoping to get Natalie back and I'll be able to give her all this epic equi equipment. Okay, so I'm gonna waste all my money on Traveler Man. Who can do whatever a traveler can. Probably not much. No, not wrong. Wrong person. That's not so bad. Now I really need to change his weapon. Oh, but look, there's no weapon store in this town. Oh. Random empty chest again. Why? So going back, we run back and I'll get on the airship and we'll see what happens. Okay, here's the airship. There we go, we have an airship. Woo, it's fast as hell and I can go everywhere. That's good. Whee! There's the slums. I'm actually missing a side quest. I've done all the side quests but one. So, I'm going to quickly run through and make sure I've done them all. Hey. I think there's a person missing their wallet in here as well, so I'm just going to have a look for that. I realise there's not a, I don't think there's been a single church in this game I've like entered. I have a feeling the side quest is in uh, Desert Town now. Okay, I'm experiencing a weird glitch here. I can't get... It's stuck. It keeps thinking I'm going right after I've talked to one of the chaps. I'm now stuck going right all the time. So I'm going to be back in just a second. 